Hey Kryptonite, Siam here. So just thought I'd make a little update. I've been skiing for um, a fair while and I've just got back and uh, <coughs> looking at this, um, it's a bit of a, a, a bloodbath. I mean, it's been a bloodbath for the last couple of weeks or so. Um, <coughs> but there's really nothing to be uh, worried about. I mean, this is just, uh, I mean, when you look at the market cap, we're now at basically, yeah, we're just pipped under the half a billion um half a trillion dollar level and when we zoom into the global market cap um yeah this is this is a uh, slightly ominous i mean for those of you who are familiar with patterns this looks very much like uh, a head and shoulders with the neckline here being at the half a million uh, dollar level so um if it does drop below this i mean it should i mean <sighs> I mean, this is going to scare a lot of people out of the market uh, because if it does uh, drop down, I mean, we should we, we should see anything uh, around sort of the 200, 300, uh, 250, sort of 300 dollar level, um, 300 billion dollar level, that is. Um, however, this is not the pop, the, 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 the inevitable uh, pop. Um, basically, we're we're seeing we're on the precipice of huge amounts of capital about to come in, and if you're someone that has a hundred billion dollars that wants to get into the crypto market, you're not going to buy it at the high, are you? You're going to use your clout. You're going to use um, the the newly created futures market, the Bitcoin futures market, to hammer down the prices, and then you're going to then fill your boots up. Um, at the at the low prices um so i mean that's exactly what i would do if i was a big bastard bank or institution of some sort and yeah so you don't need to worry too much about that um the amount of cryptos is really rapidly increasing it was only a week ago it's about 1400 cryptos uh, another 76 have just popped up from nowhere um so yeah, let's have a little look at some charts. So starting off with Bitcoin, let's have a look at the daily chart here. So as you can see, it's broken all sorts of different uh, key levels. I mean, it broke uh, below this this key level here. Um, it's then come back to kiss off the level before moving back down. And I, I drew this level a while ago and I said, I would not be surprised if we saw $8,000 uh, Bitcoin. But the thing is, I, I, I again, I really wouldn't worry because uh, what tends to happen, I mean, this happens all the time. This is, this is not the worst Bitcoin chart I've ever seen. You will see uh, basically v, uh, v reversals. Um, I mean, if you sort of, whoopsie, there's a, I've just moved a random line there. Um, for example, if you zoom in all in, in many different parts of Bitcoin's history, um, you'll see massive declines, you know, I, I've said this in other videos, like 50% um, declines at the very least, and then boom, V reversal. Um, again, it looked it looked like the world was going to end over here. I mean, in 2017, this happened loads of times. So please just have a little look um, at um, some of the, the YouTube videos. So I'm going to have a little quick look at a few others, which uh, I'm quite interested in at, at the moment. So... Oh, bloody hell, I hate trading view. There's still, I mean, it's just a matter of time before a good charting software comes out for cryptos. But at the moment, we're stuck with trading view. It's still a piece of poo, in my opinion. Um, it's nothing like the, the charting software I've been using for the last decade or so. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, as you can see, every, I mean, I said this in other videos, every chart looks really bearish. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, so, so does this. I mean, we ha we have really been consolidating around this sort of 600 700 level for a while um and one of the reasons i'm still in tron uh, is because in q1 their main net is coming up so it's going to convert from an erc20 token owner over to their own main net so that is a big piece of news when that finally comes in q1 sometimes so i'm i'm holding strong um in hindsight, I mean, hindsight's a beautiful thing. I really should have sold higher to then buy in uh, at further lows. But um, again, I've been preoccupied with all sorts of other things. Let's have a look at NEO. So NEO is, um, NEO has actually been one of the strongest um, 
out there. So during the whole shit, crypto shit show, um, NEO has just been piling up. And yes, it's had a bit of a retrace. I mean, it hit sort of around the hundred and uh, eight. Uh, 170 odd dollars uh, level and it has pulled back slightly but many for, for many days neo has been pretty much the only crypto that hasn't gone down it's 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 having a bit of a, a decline today and over the last seven days you can see it's gone down 25 percent um which is is pretty pretty average uh, at the moment but it's still a pretty darn strong thing especially when you you hit, see and especially when you see what what's going on behind the scenes with neo and ontology etc um so yeah that that's that i mean i'm not saying it's not going to fall uh, any further i mean we hit basically identical highs previously um and then we had a big sell-off and again it wouldn't surprise me if we did have a another big sell-off again with this i don't think this crumbling is ending yet um so yeah uh, expect further falling let's have a look at uh, cardano so again this looks very horrible um te technically from a sort of a charting perspective um this this technically is a, a bullish pattern um because whenever you see sort of a falling flag in a rising market like this uh what what should happen is the market i mean we are seeing proper compression here so sometime this week we should see uh, a, an explosion. Now, technically, it should pop to the upside. And uh, however, I think with the whole market sort of declining at the moment, I think it's gonna be pretty hard for this to pop to the upside. Um, and yeah, and the only reason, I mean, we're in a similar pattern with Tron not so long ago where I, I jumped in, um, yeah, down here when it was basically around three, uh, three dot, uh, three cents, and then it popped to the upside in a big way. But there was a lot of news and hype going around Tron back then. But the thing is, Cardano is very conservative. There's no hype. There's nothing like that. They're just working diligently behind the scenes. So uh, again, I I would not be surprised at all if we saw this falling at least back down to the four thousand level uh, before having a little retrace. And, and I mean, when you're looking at Bitcoin, we we saw this identical situation here if we just yeah so basically this is as, as i said in previous videos this was a dead cat bounce and then it has followed through and now looking at um cardano we're seeing the exact same dead cat bounce so um believe it or not i'm actually selling all my cardo cardano today i'm going to be buying back in um and it, it's really annoying uh, because it's gonna. I'm gonna have to faff about with moving funds around back. I'm gonna actually go back into um, sterling or euros or sterling for a bit. Uh, now, in the past, I used to. Um, if I ever wanted to basically get out of the market, I used to use uh, USDT, so Tether. And if we can find Tether, I mean, it used to be way up here, but obviously it's, it's here. We go Tether. Now, what Tether? was supposed to do is basically track the dollar so it's technically a crypto but it's not um and it just tra tracks the dollar so if i ever wanted just to step aside for the market you'd sell everything back into bitcoin then you sell bitcoin into tether and this sticks at around uh, one dollar so if we look at the chart it should be flat um there we go however yeah so it's flat and then it's had a, a bit of pressure recently um this tether is gonna is gonna crash uh, and it's gonna crash in a big way and this is one of the reasons and so this is why I'm annoyed because I can't use tether anymore because there's uh, there's counterparty risk there of this crashing big time now I've said this for a while but I just want to show I want you to do your own research here but basically just go to Google type in tether scam and have a little look um, around um, uh, around yeah around the internet and basically or, or tether printing money and basically uh, bitfinex is probably the biggest uh, crypto exchange out there and tether is part of bitfinex and they are printing currency like never seen before uh, i think in the last uh fact let's find another one here yeah in the last four days it's printed a hundred million dollars so they are just printing tether this fake money out of thin air um, it, 
like on the scale of the Federal Reserve and the Bank of England. Um, and I, yeah, I mean, there's loads of basically articles saying that basically, yeah, for a long time, um, it's been known that an institution has been buying up Tether left, right and centre. Well, it's actually Bitfinex. They are basically propping themselves up and Bitfinex is as I said, the biggest um, crypto exchange, it's going to default. It's technically insolvent. And when this crashes, I think and I, I believe that we're going to have a mini market crash. I mean, like, as in we're, we're probably going to see this half, uh, which again, looking at the, you know, the, the charts, it doesn't surprise me. But when this or if this does happen, this is not the pop. This is not the... the um, the, the the proper pop this is just gonna basically give all the strong hands a really good fire sale by uh, you know uh, yeah fire sale basically um, and if anything this is actually going to um, prolong um, the, the this bubble because we we're not seeing any popping till we see until we get anywhere near the sort of the ten trillion dollar market cap. Um, and yeah, last but not least, I found a, a good one. Um, yeah, the Stock Emperor, yeah, probably sending loads of traffic to his site now, but it's a good article. Um, yeah, basically Tether's printing $100 million daily, and it's, yeah, it's um, it's, it's worth reading, and basically um, they are, yeah, it's, it, uh, Tether is, or and Bitfinex is going to be, uh, there, there's going to be sort of a, um, a default risk at some point, so uh yeah, hope that makes sense, and um, I just need to wait till Daedalus <laughs> sinks its block so I can sell and then s step out for a little bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully that makes sense, and I'll see you soon. Toodles, bye-bye.